Oh, hello. Welcome to the most aesthetically non-pleasing disheveled empties video I've ever done. I hope this is the most disheveled one I've ever done. If you couldn't tell by the moving boxes and the chaotic background, I'm moving. Well, if you watch my channel, then you'd already know that. But that's why, like, the wall where I normally film things and have, like, my backdrop, all those pictures are down. You guys, it is so hot. Portland is about to have um, its biggest heat wave, like, ever. Like, we're about to reach, I think, the all-time high in Portland for, like, this time of year, which it's mid to end June right now, is, like, 107 or something like that, which is hot and rare. Like, in the four years I've lived here, I've never had that. We're about to hit, like, 110, 111 type temperatures. So, pray for my soul. That heat is already creeping in. Because I am moving, you guys... I'm not about to move these empties with me, so I'm going to do one last empties video in the good old 503. You know what I'm saying? I cannot even stand the side of myself, and I kind of knew that going into this. Like, first of all, shout out to my shirt. Um, it actually used to belong to Jake, but now it belongs to me. He gave it to me. I didn't steal it. Anyway. It is so hot, I had to put my hair up. I don't know, you guys. Also, I am dog sitting. So this is Rem. Hi, Rem. He follows me everywhere, so he can always out in the other room, but okay. I have not laid this stuff out, so we're just gonna, I'm just gonna take it out as we go. Starting with some candles on top. Here's a three-bit candle from Bath & Body. Most of my candles are. This is Lavender Marshmallow. It's like a creamy lavender. If you like lavender, I think you'll like it, but I don't like love it. It's not like my favorite. Here's another three-wit from Bath & Body. Ooh, Citrus Crystals. This one was fun. Sugared orange slice, tangy lemon drops, and fizzy guava. It was fun. It was good. It was like a really uh, bright, sweet, fruity scent. I also have a few candles that... I'm just going to tell you about because I'm not going to bring them with me. We're going to burn those suckers down to the crisp. We have Suntan, which is an amazing like sunscreen scent. I have one called Hot Fudge Sunday, which Bath & Body does really, really good chocolate scents. I know that sounds weird, but like, trust me, their chocolate candles burn really weirdly well. I'm not really like a chocolate candle kind of girl. And then I have one called Raspberry Mimosa, which is one that they have brought back out in like different seasons in packaging. So that leads me to believe it's one that will pop up from time to time. And I really enjoy that one. Speaking of Bath and Body, we have some hand soap. This one was Sweet Orange Blossom. I liked it in theory, but the scent wasn't very strong. Actually the same for this one. It's called Fresh Rainfall. Sometimes like I like my hand soaps and everything to have like a more strong scent than a less strong scent. And those were just kind of like mild. Oh, this is an old one. Test Labs Rose. I bought like a hundred of these when they, not literally, but when they came out because it has creamy petals, jasmine, and sandalwood. It's the closest thing to my Le Labo Rose 31 hand cream that I had in my bathroom. And I wanted to like have a long supply of these to kind of pair with that, but they don't make it anymore because Bath and Body is like that. Fresh mint apple. That one was good. Oh, chocolate lava cake. That was a single wick. Obviously. Scrumptious chocolate cake, gooey cocoa center, and powdered sugar. Hi, Ram. He's in my lap. So like I said, they're chocolate scents. Trust me. At least give them a try. Ooh, I love this one. Cinnamon spiced vanilla. Such a classic. Like, to me, this is like a can't go wrong scent. Like if somebody doesn't like cinnamon spice vanilla with peace and love, like what is wrong with you? Because it just smells like a sweet, not too sweet, but like a sweet and spicy bakery good. I don't know. Here was a candle from one of my students. Oh my gosh, she gave this to me at the beginning of the year and I finally burned it all up. It's called Crushed Apple and Spice. It's from Target. I think it's Opal House. I loved the jar, so pretty, kind of reflective. The scent. Oh my God, that's so good. It's just like a cozy kind of autumn, pum uh, not pumpkin, although it does kind of smell like pumpkin, apple scent. The only thing I don't love about these is like, I mean, it burned relatively evenly, but single wicks can be hard, especially when it's like a little bit bigger, but overall it was, you know, really good. Herbivore body polish in Cocoa Rose. It's the coconut oil body polish. This stuff was really, really, really good. And, ew, it's like sticky. It had a really, really delicious kind of subtle rose scent. Very soft, very pretty. 
you can you couldn't smell the coconut but it was a really like hydrating luxurious body scrub it's a splurge I mean it's not a crazy splurge but it's a splurge but I think it's worth it aesthetically it looks beautiful in like your shower or your bath and then it works really well and so if you're looking to treat yourself definitely check those out I kind of want to get a different scent body scrub from herbivore speaking of things that are splurge worthy but in my opinion worth it if you're in the mood to kind of treat yourself or you have a gift card or something um fresh body lotion in sugar lychee okay so sugar lychee is one of the greatest scents of all time i have this perfume oh my gosh i love it every time i describe sugar lychee i say the same thing which is that it is the most perfect fusion and blend of being fresh and sweet oh my sweet lord it's like bright and fresh but sweet that's all i can say honestly it's not sickeningly sweet at all it does not have any heaviness to the sweetness it's more of like a i don't want to say citrusy because it's not citrusy but like that bright sweetness i don't know and the lotion itself um was like a really really nice formula really hydrating i mean again it's more expensive than like your your drugstore uh kind or whatever but so good here we had some wander beauty rose gold under eye patches it was a box of them i love using these things i do think they work and they help when you're like super tired or whatever and also they're just like fun they look pretty so i think they're worth it but i i don't know Sometimes I had to like remember to use them. Here is a Yes 2 face mask. It was a single use. The Yes 2 Grapefruit Brightening Vitamin C Unicorn Peel Off Mask. I've used this stuff before. I really like it. I don't know if it's gimmicky because it's like holographic kind of. <laughs> Sorry that you can see like his little head and his little ears. And it has a pretty strong grapefruit smell. But I do think it works to kind of give you like an instant brightening effect. And it is fun just to like peel it off. And it comes off pretty much like in one fell swoop without like ripping out your little peach fuzz and hurting really badly. So I would totally buy that again or like in a bigger size. Here is a moisturizer I just used up. This is the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm. It's like a lightweight kind of gel-ish formula of moisturizer. It's one of those like no frills moisturizers like there's no scent there's no nothing I think it's really good it's a great summertime moisturizer and probably like year-round but I just associate those like lightweight gel formulas with more of a hot climate you know what I mean the Joe Malone re diffusers now this one's not quite done and I need to figure out what I'm gonna do because these are not cheap Joe Malone oh there's another re diffuser I need to grab that for this video it's right there not Joe Malone they're not cheap in my opinion, they're worth every penny. Again, if you have the money, they sell this brand at Sephora, so hold out for like a sale or whatever. Pomegranate Noir is my favorite scent of all time. And well, okay, that was my original Jo Malone, like love. Oh, it's so freaking good. It reminds me of like fall, winter, whatever. This one is Peony and Blush Suede, which is much more of like a spring, summer scent. I don't care though. They're so exquisite. They're great together. I just would have these at like the front entryway of like my home and they're really, really potent, but not in like a overly strong. I know I said I like strong scents, but trust me, it's not in like an overdoing it way. Jo Malone is like such an exquisite fragrance house that they just know what they're doing and it's expensive, but it'll last you like basically a year. And you can control how many reads you use at once. So I believe it's well worth it. Let me grab the other diffuser. This is one I got at Nordstrom a few years back for their anniversary sale. It's that Antica Farmy, whatever the heck, Farmy Kista brand. And this one's in Fig Leaf. And you can see that there's still some juice in this puppy too. Although that juice is looking a little sus, a little cloudy. I love this scent. I'm typically not that drawn to fig scented things. As much of a perfume gal as I am, anytime there's like fig in a perfume, I'm like, eh, no thank you. And actually, while I'm smelling this, I don't think I would want any body product that smells like this, but I dig it for like a candle, a room spray, a diffuser, so on and so forth. Whereas with the Jo Malone ones, I actually have the perfume versions of both of those. 
this is just more of a home scent to me. So this brand is also pretty expensive to my knowledge. And therefore I kind of don't think it's worth it, but I do struggle to say that because I also had this in like my little reading nook corner as opposed to the other ones were in the front entryway. So it's not quite comparing apples to apples. The reason I say that is because I've been told the experts say that like these actually don't necessarily, okay, you might think like a read diffuser or something should be in a small room, like a bathroom. That's not necessarily true. What actually gives it a lot of like maximization, is that a word? I think so, would be to have it in a kind of high traffic area where it gets a lot of natural just like airflow and stuff, literally from like you walking past it or whatever. And so every time I would sit in the corner to read, I could smell it and like, you know, but when I walked into this room, it's not like I could smell it. So I do really like it, but if I'm gonna recommend one, it's gonna be the Joe Malone ones, but check them out, especially if they put these on the anniversary sale again, like it could be worth it. Here's a candle that I don't think was really worth it. This was from the double site, Amazon. Home Naturals is the brand, and this was in the scent Rosewood Macaroon. I have heard several YouTubers talk about these big candles they're pretty big there's my head for comparison here is a standard bath and body three wick next to it so a standard three wick from bath and body is 14.5 ounces this guy is 33.26 ounces it had three wicks and the scent was like a woody musky rosy scent it was fine it was lovely i kind of got it because it was like affordable but like a big candle and i just wanted to see most of the time like big candles especially the ones that i like joe malone diptyque all that like they're pricey and so i just wanted to give that a try it wasn't bad i used it up but i don't like feel like recommending it or buying another one and they had a few other scents too but i was just kind of like I'm good. This is something, speaking of the Nordstrom anniversary sale, I got this there. This is the brand New Lash. It's kind of all rubbed off by now. And it's an eyelash serum. I just put this in my empties bag and I have another tube. There's still probably like a tiny bit in there. So what's really cool is it's like a little brush. Hi, Rem. And you just, oh yeah, there's a good amount of juice right there. I'm doing this literally just on the camera, as you can see. And you just brush it on. Rem, what are you doing, darling? And you just brush it on. You can do it on like your top lashes and your lower lashes. I wish I was gonna insert footage to show you the before and after, but like, I'm probably not. I don't know, I'll look at my phone, see if I have any. Cause I think I took pictures before and after, but I could totally tell that my lashes grew with this stuff. You do have to be pretty consistent with it, which I was. It's expensive. I think I got a two pack like this at Nordstrom at the anniversary sale for $100. I think normally they're like $100 on their own or something like that, or maybe a little bit less. Buddy, what are you doing? To me, I mean, this lasted like, I don't know if it was six months, but it was a while. So for like $100 for basically the whole year, like I'm down with that because it really did make my natural lashes. I mean, I have zero makeup on right now. I don't know if you can, I don't know. But like when I had mascara on, they looked better. When I didn't, they looked better. I don't know. I like it. Also, there's a margarita in here because packing is stressful. Dashing Diva. Have you guys seen these? These are those nail sticker strip thingies. Admittedly, I only used these one time. It was a while ago. It was like, I think early days of the pandemic. And I feel a little bit wasteful and I'm kind of getting rid of the rest. They weren't awful, but the thing is, they're just like the juice isn't quite worth the squeeze. They're kind of a lot of work. And then they like tore off my nails pretty easily. And I was just like, I can't be bothered. I would rather just paint my nails or use like press on nails, which I have found this like extra strong glue um, on the devil's side, Amazon. <laughs> and when I use that glue, it helps press on nails last for like a week or two, like perfectly. Yeah, I have some mascaras in here. I have the, tar why did I say that? I have some mascaras in here. The Tarte Man Eater. This was good. Nothing crazy amazing. I got it at the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. No way I'd pay full price for it, but I'd buy it again at that price. This was the Bare Minerals. Love every lash. Micro defining mascara had a tiny little bristle like that. I would use this specifically on my lower lashes because 
small bristles. It was fine, but I prefer the Clinique bottom lash mascara. So I wouldn't repurchase that. We have, this is still has some product in it. It's the ColourPop lip oil. It's kind of like a lip gloss lip oil. Here's the thing. It's this peachy color with shimmer. No, it's not. When you put it on your lips, there's nothing in it. I mean, it's like clear and it's kind of leaking. And especially because we still live in mask life. I'm like more inclined to get rid of lip products. So it was fine, but especially now that it's leaking, I'm over it. The Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment. This stuff is so good. I now know like why these lip balms have been so popular for so, so long. My only complaint is that I feel like the stick, I mean, this one's gone, but I feel like it's like really malleable and kind of like moves around on the thing, but Really hydrating, smells really nice. I love the packaging, etc. Here's an expensive lip product that I would repurchase, but again, like definitely only if I had a discount and I was feeling spendy. It's the Dior Lip Glow. Is that what it's called? No, maybe. The Dior Lip Maximizer Hyaluronic Lip Plumper. This was just in like 01, which I think basically is like a sheer pink. And so it was kind of like a lip gloss, but you could also almost use it like a lip balm a light minty scent. Getting a luxury product like that is fun, although this packaging isn't like totally beautiful the way like a YSL lip product is to me. This is Tarte, but it's that Sugar Rush brand at Ulta. And this was a lip oil in a scent called Dragon Fruit. So it was just kind of like this sheer berry toned, like glossy oil. It smelled really yummy. I actually really liked this. I would repurchase it. It's a little messy in the packaging, which isn't ideal, but I liked it. Another lip product. This is from Glow Recipe. This is the Lip Pop Balm. This was in the scent Strawberry, I think. Uh, this stuff was interesting. They also have a blueberry one. It's like a lip balm tinted lip balm, lip gloss, kind of hybrid. It smells really yummy. It was fun. I would repurchase it, I think. I would consider the blueberry one. I'm not running out to go repurchase it, but like I would. It was hydrating. It left like a subtle pink color. It was fun. Oh, okay, this. The Bare Minerals Gen Nude Eyeshadow Primer slash Cream Eyeshadow in the color called Undressed. So it's like a cream eyeshadow. Can you, is there even any left in there? kind of. It's like a cream eyeshadow slash eyeshadow primer. It was fine. I used it up, would not repurchase. I didn't really ever use it just as a cream eyeshadow on its own. Think of it like a MAC paint pot that would kind of neutralize out your, your lid. I think I did that every now and then. And then as for like being an actual shadow base, that's going to help your shadow stick. Like, eh, maybe a little better than nothing on your lids, but it nowhere near as good as like, um, Urban Decay All Nighter, All Nighter, whatever it's called. Um, eyeshadow Primer Potion, that's the stuff. Clinique Turnaround Revitalizing Instant Facial. Ooh, I just finished this today. Would not repurchase. It was fine. It claims to be kind of like a mask slash instant facial. So yeah, I was gonna compare it to the Drunk Elephant Sukari Baby Facial. Is that what that stuff is called? I've never owned that, but I've used samples. I prefer that to this. I think that is uh, more potent, more effective. This was like a granular, you know, like kind of like scrub mask thing that you would apply and then rinse out. You wait like five to eight minutes or something and, and you rinse it off. And I think it's meant to be a physical and chemical exfoliator, but I didn't notice much. It was just okay. And the Drunk Elephant one's expensive, but, and so is the Lancer one. <clears throat> Lancer's a really good skincare brand. I like their exfoliators, but I don't know. This wasn't like cheap. So <clears throat> if I am looking for a chemical and physical exfoliant, like I'm gonna probably splurge for the one that works better. You know what I mean? Or just find something else. Okay. I heard about this from Jessica Braun, my girl on YouTube. Also from the devil site though. This is the Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel UV SPF 50. So this is um, Japanese, I think. Yes, Can Make is a Japanese brand. So it's like fully in Japanese on the back. It's a cute little fun packaging and it's kind of like this glowy. Do I have any more in there to show you? Not really. Pretty much used it to the last drop. But it's kind of like a glowy 
primer-ish sunscreen. Jessica uses it as a moisturizer. <sighs> SPF in one, I didn't. I would use this as an SPF on top of my moisturizer. I, like, at the minimum SPF on my face needs to be, like, 50. I mean, again, here I am with zero makeup, so I don't know how I'm looking right now, but I'm trying to protect whatever I can from the sun, so it's got to be 50, 50 or bust. One thing I do love about this is the price. It's like 10 bucks. I don't really have anything to say about it. It, I, it. To me, it wasn't, it didn't really give like a glow or act as a primer. I actually have repurchased it though, so that's a good sign. Here's a skincare product that I use to adore. And this time it kind of didn't, it kind of didn't, it didn't do it for me quite the same way. It's the Sunday Riley Luna Nighttime Sleeping Oil. It's a retinol serum. I took a while off of this for a few different reasons. The price, some sketchy things happening with Sunday Riley. But here's the other thing. My skin was also <laughs> way worse for wear when I did love this stuff. And so maybe like count your blessings that your skin's better and not gone fake wood. And so maybe that's why I didn't have such a like noticeable difference or reaction to this because my skin again knock on fake wood is just better right now but like the first time I ever used this I had like horrible adult acne and I was like oh this is cool I went my entire teenage uh all of my teenage years just being like what's acne and then I was like in my young to mid-20s and I was like so anyway this stuff really helped back then I'm still on the hunt though for a retinol. Like I liked it, but I just didn't notice any like, whoa, differences like I used to. Here's a perfume, Jo Malone, Woods Sage and Sea Salt. It's a tiny little guy. I have um, a slightly bigger bottle too. Love, 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 love. Incredibly androgynous scent. So fresh. So unique. You can literally smell like the salt in there. It's it's hard to explain, but I'm telling you, you need it. I mean, that's all I have to say. Here's some wallflowers, Bath and Body wallflowers. We had fresh coconut and plumeria. That one was good, really summery, kind of like a sunscreen vibes. Raspberry tangerine, fruity, fresh. Oh, Palo Santo. You guys, I didn't know what that was until recently. It's like a type of wood that smells really good. So it has Palo Santo wood, warm amber, and soft musk. Really yummy, cozy wood, but not too heavy, making it like super duper fall winter vibes. It was still good for like these summer months. This is a tried and true Kiehl's Creamy Avocado Eye Treatment. This is an eye cream that I've gone through a bunch. Here's the thing though, how are my eyes looking? I mean, again, I look pretty rough right now, but I meant like crow's feet. I don't know. Like I'm getting up there in age. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm like old, old because you know what? I'm also sick of that whole like oh, millennials and boomers and oh, we're all so old. Like I'm 32. I just turned 32. But you know what? I have a young soul and I'm fun and I'm young and I teach kindergarten and I've got energy and I've got spunk and I've got a hell of a lot more wisdom than I did like 10 years ago. So I'm kind of just like over that whole like old narrative. Sorry, that was some projection right there, but I just, you know, anyway, the point is that I do, <laughs> despite me being like, I'm not old, I'm young forever. I can see signs of aging. So <laughs> I don't know if this is really going to cut it for like what's to come with these eyes, specifically like crow's feet and stuff like that, wrinkles and all that jazz. But I do really, really, really like this stuff. It's hydrating. It's great. If you have another eye rec specifically for older aging eyes, let me know. Two more things. I'm getting rid of these, not because I don't really like them, but because when you move, you contemplate throwing everything that you own away. At least I do. And certain things just simply don't make the cut. These are two things that I would keep in my travel bag exclusively and after like over a year of literally like what is travel lol like the pandemic blah 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 plus I've never really been that big of a traveler anyway I don't know I decided I just needed to part ways they're both makeup revolution which is a great brand I mean it's a fine brand and they're both youtuber collabs this one is the Emily edit the needs palette with Emily Noel whoa and the thing just broke so that's a sign 
The concept was that you have all these basic eyeshadows you need, a setting powder, bronzer, blush, highlighter. It served me well the times I would take it on trips, but like my relationship with makeup has just changed with the pandemic and my relationship with travel has changed. And then this is a palette with Patricia Bright. Oh, I love her. She's a British YouTuber. I brought this home with me when I went to Arizona for Christmas for like six weeks. And it was like basically all I used. Bronzer, blush, highlighter. So I need to just keep this video moving before I rethink this. I mean, I like it. Good formulas. Easy, like convenient concept. But like I have too much stuff. So with all that said, I'm going to go. I think I heard the... Uh, washing machine stop so that means now I need to go put it in the dryer and I need to go put my head in the freezer because it is really hot so thank you for watching let me know if you have any thoughts comments concerns questions if you want to follow me on Instagram it's at loopy loves you I'll put it on the screen right here and I'll catch you next time love ya